whatever be the shape of your breast, be it bell, round, asymmetric, east, west, whatever. At some point in time, it's going to sag. So ladies, don't kill yourself, okay? Eventually, at every point in every woman's life, no matter how hard she tries, your breast is still going to sag. So don't kill yourself over this, okay? But there's hope, okay? There is hope. With today's video, what I hope to share is going to help you ensure that though with time your breast will sag, at least if you follow up on truth, these steps is going to help you prevent it from sagging much way faster than it would have ordinarily done. Okay guys, so welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma. I'm a YouTuber based in the beautiful city of Uyo, a five from state Nigeria. Alright guys, so on today's video, we'll be sharing effective ways in which ladies can prevent their breasts from sagging, you know, so rapidly. Let me put it that way, okay, if that makes sense. <laughs> Alright guys, so first on the list is ensure that you wear your size of bra, the perfect size of bra, so that you ensure that, you know, when you're walking, your breast is not like moving up and down, you know, so it can just stay put, it can be in one place. This is some people wear a bra and maybe it's bigger than them, or they wear a bra that is smaller for them. Ensure that you wear the perfect size of bra that fits your breast and if you don't know the perfect size of bra that fits your breast what you can do is when you go to a bra shop ensure that you tell them you don't stand they can put you through or no, to know exactly the size the bra size that actually fits your bra shape okay exercise ensure that when you're doing exercise you wear there's a bra that is meant for exercise don't go with a bra that you're supposed to wear on a dress or you're supposed to wear for any other event for exercise ensure you wear the perfect bra for exercise i mean for yeah and also ensure that you exercise your muscles the muscles of your breast okay like ever since when i was young there's this exercise i used to do consciously and unconsciously i didn't even know that it actually like it was meant for the breast like what i used to do i put my hands up here like this and then i turn it around like this i go like this this one exercise that i really loved so much I actually thought it was actually exercise that was meant for my arms, you know, to make my arms, arms flexible, okay? But I didn't know it was actually a breast exercise. So when I was doing a research on this topic and I found out that this is actually an exercise that's really good for the breast. So you can do this, so you can go like to the back at least 20 times, then you come to the front like 20 times. This goes a long way to ensure that your breast muscles stay and you know, stay intact, okay? So ensure that you massage your breast, okay? This way you can go like, like this. If you hold your breast like this, you can just rub it up gently like this, rub it up and then you can also take it from, from the bottom, you come up like this, massage it gently, at least 20 strokes, like go like 20 this way and then 20 this way. This will go a long way to help your breast to be flexible, okay? Eat as much protein as possible, okay? This will help your skin in case you have any damage on your skin. This will go a long way to help your skin to heal naturally. Okay? So eat things like fish, eat beans and all that, take meal, this will go a long way to help your body your breast to heal, you know, like to stay intact. Avoid weight fluctuations as much as you can. I know we ladies, we want to look trim, we want to look beautiful, we want to wear that short dress that makes us stand out and all that, but if you're actually trying to lose weight, you can ensure that, I mean, the space is not that much, like it's not, the gap is not too much, like if you were weighing 80 kg and then all of a sudden, like in one week, you're weighing 60 kg, that is way too much. It's going to make you have extra flabby skin, you know, so ensure that if you're losing weight, at least just take it step by step. Don't want, don't just, just like rush into it, like want to like lose weight overnight. If not, you're going to have excess skin and your skin will eventually become flappy, okay? Avoid tying wrapper on your chest. <laughs> Me, I used to be guilty, I'm not lying you, like I used to be guilty. Don't tie wrapper on your waist, like there are beautiful shorts you can wear when you're in the house, anyone will be comfortable, you can put on the spaghetti top. Something, you know, free, but don't tie, don't tie, it. I mean, don't tie wrappers on your breast, on your chest. It's a no-no, it's like dragging your breast down. So don't, don't do it, ladies, don't, don't do it, stop it. As much as you can, ensure that you sit upright. Don't like, don't slouch, don't do like this. Like when you're sitting, no matter how, whatever it is, maybe your style or whatever, just don't try to slouch. If you slouch, like your brain is like, you're walking with gravity, it's dragging, dragging your body down so this is what you don't need so just ensure that even while you're sitting or when you're standing ensure that you like ensure a posture like it's upright your shoulders is up like this so you don't drag your breasts down okay drink as much water as possible at least four liters of water every day when your body's hydrated it goes a long way to support your body the water it needs to ensure that 
you know, like you don't have brain food because when you like your body is dehydrated, like it makes you dehydrated and it goes a long way to affect all parts of the body, not just the breath alone. So ensure that you drink four, at least three to four liters of water every day to keep your body hydrated. Okay. Avoid smoking as much as you can. Try as much as you can to avoid smoking. What this does to your body when you smoke is the chemicals in the cigarettes have the collagen in your skin and makes it weaker and fluffy. So you might want to drink it. I know we are adults and you can actually do whatever it is that you want, but okay, we have a target here, you know. We want the breast to stay firm. <laughs> I must mention this in this video, okay, guys. So ladies, okay, no, I know some ladies say I don't want to get pregnant, I don't want to have baby, I don't want to breastfeed because if I breastfeed, my breast is gonna start. It's not, sweetie, it's not going to start, okay? You know, the thing is, it's a natural thing. It's just like maybe at some point you have black hairs and as you're advancing in age, your hair grows gray and all that. So it's just like every other part of your body, it grows old, you know? So eventually it's going to go sad, but don't be scared. Don't say, ah, it's because if I breastfeed or if I get pregnant, don't say that. It's natural. It's, I mean, we came to meet it here, like, you know, so you can't change it, but... If you can follow through on these steps, it's gonna help you with your breast not to get sad, you know, on time early. Okay, so ensure that you follow through on these tips and leave me a comment. Let me know which of these steps, which of these tips you're gonna follow through or which you're following through already to help your breast stay free from being sad. Okay, so ladies, until our next video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new, if you're gonna practice something new. Okay, so until our next video, give this video a thumbs up. Okay. Bye. Love you so much.